Okay folks, um, this is the second activity for this week. Um, we're going to call this our U passing. Okay, we've got a little um, set up here. I, again, as I said, I've got no cones. I've used a variety of different household objects here to set out four different sections. Okay, um, and what we're going to do here is just practice our quick passing. Okay, the girls are going to demonstrate. You've got a, one person, your friend, set up over here passing in and out and you're going to first of all run from one end to the other okay collect the ball quickly pass it back again okay when you've done that a few times okay keep yourself moving you're going to use the sections okay you're going to receive the ball come in come to the next section receive the ball pass back go to the next section Remember, it doesn't matter how much space you've got, we can squeeze it around, okay? If you've got a big space in your garden, make it a bit bigger, okay? Fantastic. Once you've done that a few times, okay, keep practicing. Try and develop onto your one-touch passing, so you develop that up further, okay? You're then gonna, we're then going to progress it one more time. I've put up uh, an extra object at the back here, okay? And the way this get little game works is you're going to collect the ball, okay? As we started, you saw the girls start at the, the one end. Uh, once you've passed the ball back, you're then going to run back to your next object, to the object that's been added at the back. And the server, okay, is going to call a number between one and three. And that's the section that you need to then return to after you've come back, okay? So, the things you're thinking about here and you're developing are obviously progressing from two to one touch and quick decision making okay ball control getting rid of that ball nice and quickly and making a quick decision fantastic girls thank you